Hi, I am Muttara. Welcome to weekly sports news. Let's go through the headlines first. US Open. Novak Djokovic wins 24th Grand Slam title. Coco Gauff triumphs over Ariana Sabalenka and claims her first Grand Slam title. India's under-16 team secured the SAF championship title, defeating Bangladesh in an exciting final. US Open, Rohan Bobanna and Matthew Ebden finish as runner-up lost to Rajiv Ram and Joe Salisbury in three sets. Archery World Cup Pradamesh Shaukar wins silver medal in compound event. News in detail. Novak Djokovic defeated Daniel Medvedev in straight sets to win his fourth US Open and a record equaling 24th Grand Slam singles title, avenging his loss to the Russian in the final two years ago. Meanwhile, Kokogov beats Ariana Sabalenka to win maiden US Open title in the men's singles. March Margaret Court's all-time mark for most Grand Slam victories. Score 6-3, 7-6, 6-3. The Serbian is the first man to win three Grand Slam events in the same season four times, crowning his impending return to world number one in the most fitting of ways inside Arthur Rashi Stadium. In the women's singles, American teenager Coco Gauff won the US Open and clinched her first Grand Slam title with a battling win over Ariana Sabalenka of Belarus. 19-year-old Gauff produced a gutsy performance to win in 2 hours 6 minutes. Score 2-6, 6-3, 6-2. The hard-hitting second seed Sabalenka will become world number one in next week's rankings. India's under-16 team became winners of the SAF championship by beating Bangladesh 2-0 in the title clash. Key contributors like Mohamed Arbash, Vishal Yadav and Lewis Sangmillan penetrated the Bangladeshi defence with fluid runs and skillful dribbling, making it easier for India to dictate terms from start to finish. Bharat Leidenham in the 8th minute found the net in the first half, while Lewis Sangmillan in the 74th minute sealed the victory with a second half goal at the Chang Limitang Stadium. Guided by head coach Ishwak Ahmed, the Blue Colts had a sparkling run throughout the championship. They exhibited a brand of free-flowing, attacking football that left opponents struggling. In the final against Bangladesh, India displayed tactical prowess and control. With adept ball distribution and intelligent utilization of available space, they effectively countered Bangladesh's more physical style of play. Rohan Bobanna and Matthew Ebden finished as runner-up in the US Open men's doubles final at New York. The Indo-Australian tennis pair lost to the defending men's doubles champion Rajiv Ram and Joe Salisbury. Competing on the hard courts of the Arthur Rashi Stadium, Rohan Bobanna and Matthew Ebden seeded 6th lost to 3rd seeds Rajiv Ram and Joe Salisbury 6-2, 3-6, 4-6 in exactly 2 hours. With this victory, Rajiv Ram and Joe Salisbury became the first men's doubles team at the US Open to achieve a 3 peat in more than 90 years. This was Rohan Bopanna's second Grand Slam men's doubles final. The Indian tennis player had reached the men's doubles final of the US Open with Pakistan's Aisam Gureshi 13 years ago, but the duo lost to the legendary Brian Brothers of the US. USA. A 2017 French Open mixed doubles champion, Bobanna is yet to win a men's doubles Grand Slam. He made it to the mixed doubles final at the Australian Open earlier this year alongside Sania Mirza. Earlier, Rohan Bobanna, at 43 years and 6 months, became the oldest player to reach a Grand Slam final in the Open era. He beat the previous record of Canada's Daniel Lister. Pradamesh Joker wins silver medal in compound event at the Archery World Cup in Mexico. Abhishek Verma lost the bronze medal match while world champion Aditi Gopijan Swami and Jyoti Sirega Venam bowed out in the quarter-finals. Indian archer Pradamesh Shaukar narrowly missed out on a gold in the men's compound event and settled for a silver medal at the Archery World Cup final in Mexico. World number 14 Pradamesh Shaukar was up against the 10th ranked Matthias Fullerton of Denmark in the gold medal match, which ended in a 148-148 tie after 5 sets. When I looked at the lineup earlier on today, I thought I honestly didn't pick this one at all. Jalcock, the win being a factor. Yes, that, but uh, that's too much, even even with the wind affecting, you know. Uh, I was really impre impressed. There was a mistake there. A 26 and. While both archers hit a 10 in the shoot-off, Matthias Fullerton was declared winner as his shot was closer to the centre. 
Now it's time for Sports and Shorts. Neymar has become the top goal scorer for Brazil's national team. He surpassed the three-time World Cup winner Pele. The 31-year-old Neymar scored his 78th goal in the 61st minute in the World Cup qualifying match against Bolivia. Kiran Jones won his second BWF World 2 Super 100 title, hoisting the Indonesia Masters Trophy with a hard-fought straight game win over Japan's Ku Takahashi in the men's singles final. The 23-year-old rising Indian shuttler from Kochi, who won his first championship at the Odisha Open last year, defeated world number 82 Takahashi in a 56-minute duel. Indian squash player Abhay Singh wins the PSA Challenger Tour Male Player of the Year 2022-2023 award. Abhay will also represent India in the upcoming Asian Games and participate in the men's team and mixed doubles events. That's all for last week. See you next time with more sports news. This is me Uttara in Weekend Sports News. Catch us every Monday. Don't miss the action.